how Vietnam was able to transform a colonial product into a national pastime. In the 1850s, French missionaries planted coffee in northern Vietnam, and it soon became an export good. After Vietnam gained independence, local farmers in the 1980s expanded the industry greatly. Refocusing its effort on the Central Highlands, Vietnam now is the world's second-largest coffee producer, with beans providing the caffeine for soft drinks around the world, as well as supporting a burgeoning artisanal bean industry. Vietnam's modern-day coffee culture reveals many French influences, including thin filters and sweetened condensed milk. Still, certain elements remain uniquely Vietnamese, such as Gai Thê Trung, which is said to have been invented in Hanoi in the 1940s, and eggs replaced milk during the dairy shortage. Morning coffee accompanied by singing birds at cafes or locals exercising in parks reveal how the once foreign drink has become an intrinsic element of Vietnamese culture. That includes an array of coffee shop aesthetics, ranging from retro to industrial minimalism. This Cafe Trung cocktail pays respect to coffee's legacy in Vietnam and its former place as a luxury good limited to the wealthy. Orange bitters and rum infused with coffee beans create a lush base to be lavished with rich egg foam.